everyone, welcome to our Jira how-to video series where we cover the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jexo and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a board in Jira. To create a board in Jira you need to go to one of your existing projects and you need to click here on the top on the board and then you will see the list of the boards in the drop down and there is this create board button. Now just quickly mention, uh, before I go into the creating the board, you actually need to be in a company managed project and to figure out in what type of project you currently are in, uh, you can have a look on the bottom and it tells you. So it says you're in a company managed project. There's this different type of project in Jira as well, which is called team managed project. And in these projects, you don't yet have a ability to create multiple boards. That project can have only one board that you create when you create that project. So if you're in company managed projects, you can see this button and you can click on create board and then this pops up. Uh, now you can either create a scrum board or you can create a Kanban board. If you would like to know a little bit more about the scrum boards and the sprints, you can have a look at this this video uh, that I recorded to explain how you can create the sprints. But in this one, I'm going to be creating the Kanban boards. So you click here and you create on click on create Kanban board. And here there are three options. Uh, so I will explain each of these and give you a little bit of examples when you can use them. The first one is to create a board uh, together with a new Jira software project. So this one is great if you want to start a new project, you are looking just for a Kanban board uh, for one project, you're maybe starting, start, starting some new uh, initiative uh, with your team and you want to have completely kind of like a clean state and you want to create also your issues for this project. That's what you when you would choose this option. The second one is a little bit more interesting. So in this one, you are actually creating a Kanban board from an existing project and you are also able to add uh, other projects to this list as well. So this is great if you, for example, have multiple software projects running, for example, like us, for each application that we are developing, we have a separate Jira project, but then we are running our uh, stand-up meetings uh, and we would like to have a one big portfolio board where we can see all uh, the tasks from all of these projects. So what we've done was we created a board from an existing project and just linked all of these applications projects into it. And the last one uh, is if you're looking for even more complex use case, which would be, for example, you want to have a board only with a certain issue type. For example, you, you are a QA and you're interested in tracking bugs in the application and you would like to have a board of the bugs and see their progress uh, in a project. And you can again create this board for one or multiple projects. You can also use other additional filters like labels or uh, when the issue was created, any custom fields and so on, because this board is created by using a saved JQL filter. So in this case, I'm gonna be using this board from an existing project. And what you need to do is first, you need to give your board a name. So let's say our awesome portfolio board. And then you are selecting the projects that you would like to include there. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose all the application projects that we have. And let me also add the marketing team there just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and then also you're choosing the location, so where you will be able to find this board. Now, uh, that's quite important because you need to be able to navigate to this board and find it. This is basically the location for, for un under a project this board will be available. So you click on create the board and voila. Now you have a board created uh, and you can see issues from across multiple projects. The way how you would switch in between the boards is just by clicking on this button here and here you can find all the boards that are related to this project on the top so you can see this chat feature project has these four boards that you can switch in between but there are also other boards listed so if you're not sure where you placed your board or you forgot you could also find it here and it would just switch you to the appropriate project uh, automatically Okay, so let me just quickly show you an example of how you can also set up your board and uh, make it a little bit 
more custom. So this is our actually real board that we are using for our product development. Uh, so here you can see our progress that we already set up. You can do this under this button and then board, board settings where you can create the columns. But what's also interesting is these quick filters. So once you set up your board and maybe you add multiple projects on this board, you're going to find all the issues in the list like this. So for us, for example, it's quite interesting to filter our board by uh, different apps. So we have apps like Foxly or Swanly and using these filters, we can basically switch uh, between the apps very quickly and see what issues are related to what apps. But we also do have um, uh, filters for, for example, stories or bugs if we would like to see just uh, some particular issue type as well. So you can set up these filters here in the board settings. And there is a quick filters option. So in here, you can basically predefine your filters. Uh, you can add your JQL query here. I was using just very, very simple one, which is project is a name of the project. And then you give a label name and uh, you can also add some description if you want to help your team uh, with identifying what the lab uh, this label or this filter does. And then basically these uh, quick filters appear on that board on the top. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I hope that you found the answer to the question on how you can create a Kanban board uh, in Jira and you also learned something new about the quick filters. See you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.